All right, so we mentioned that electrical impulse is started and generated at the SC node. It continues all the way down until it goes through the ventricles. The ventricles depolarize. And most of that electricity is going towards lead two, but we also understood that it's also going towards lead three down here from this shoulder all the way down to this leg. And that would be our normal standard configuration when we're looking at the, the leads. We're looking at usually two and three and lead one. And so we're looking at this as they print out, and it's a continuous <coughs> printout on our EKG screen or a continuous lead where we just see those complexes going over. Then what we would see was either a positive or negative deflection. Usually if the energy is flowing in that pattern or that direction, as we mentioned, it goes down towards the feet. Again, here we have lead three going towards the feet. These EKG complexes in two and three should be mostly positive up from this imaginary baseline where we see the P wave, the QRS, and T wave. On the opposite here, this orange QRS complex and EKG complexes here, we have a upright P wave, but then we have a negative deflection of the QRS. And again, this is that imaginary baseline. So this one would be mostly negative. The energy in that case is flowing away from that, that, that direction. So when we're just looking at our standard one, two, and three, we're gonna notice that the EKG is really large and positive in lead two. We should also see a upright positive in lead three. And in lead one, we should see somewhat mostly positive again, but smaller because it's not going towards that, the flow of all that energy is not going directly towards lead one. So just to make sure we're clear, there is a baseline. There are many different lines along the EKG printer. When we print out and we look at an EKG strip, when we talk about these deflections going upwards, downwards, negative or positive deflections, we're using what's called an imaginary baseline. And this imaginary baseline can be found by just drawing this imaginary line where the P wave begins all the way across to the, the T segment, uh, the ST segment T wave. And we can take a look. Here we have, again, mostly a positive QRS complex. So we don't have a Q wave in this. <clears throat> because the first negative deflection would be a Q wave, which we don't have a Q. We mostly have what type of wave here? Positive. And what, what, what wave would we call that if we're R using R a QRS complex? R so this would be negative, this would be positive, this would be negative. So we got a what wave here? R. 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 This is mostly an R wave, but we still call that a QRS complex. It's just that we don't see the, the negative deflections. Here we have a small little deflection here, maybe a little S wave down here, but no Q wave. Let's take a look at this here. Again, there's a slight upward deflection here. So because this is the first positive upright deflection, it's going to be an R wave. Again, we have no negative deflection, so there's no... Q. There's no Q wave, so there's an R wave, a little tiny R wave, and mostly negative, so what deflection is this, what wave S. is this? So we have mostly this S, S complex. All right, and so your EKG complex, the QRS, it can form many different patterns. Right, it doesn't have to look just basically upright. It can have multiple uh, trajectories going up and below baseline. I just need you to know that when you see this sharp pointed, uh, sharp pointed complexes on your EKG, is that this whole thing is called a QRS complex. And for now, there really isn't much rationale to give you at this point of your training is just to understand that we have a P wave, a PR interval, a QRS, and a T wave. And what you wanna do when you're looking at this, again, it's more like dead reckoning. You wanna make sure that each complex looks exactly the same over and over and over and over as you read that screen or as you look at that printout on the EKG uh, strip. That has to look exactly the same. 